Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4 Cossacks, version 1.15.1. We're getting ready for a war with the Ottomans, a second war with the Ottomans. Uh, we're going to wait until Poland is ready to be called in on favors, which should be, I don't know, about a year. It'd be nice if mousing over this would tell you the exact month when the favor would tick up to the next level of favors, because we're just waiting for 10 favors, that's all. Meanwhile, our troops are funded, and we're getting ready to siege up the provinces that are you know, up here for our vassal Bulgaria. I would like to just fill out all of Bulgaria's lands and just annex them, just get rid of them, get rid of Bulgaria. And I also want to take some of the border provinces over here in uh, Antolia, specifically the coastline, including this fort, get rid of his fort, and also this coastline, and if we can get Kutai on Ankara, then great. If not, then whatever, it's fine too. Probably go for war reps, or if we can squeeze a Humiliate, that'd be nice. But I think Humiliate's a little bit aggressive. I don't think it's going to be possible. A little bit out of our range. There we go. Ten favors. Man, that was quick. All right, Ottoman Turks. Are you ready? Are you ready to rock? Oh. Oh, Persia. Look at this. Persia wants to join too. He's like, fuck it, let's go. On favors. I'm not even calling him in for land. He's just on favors. So let's do Reconquest. Because that's going to happen. Reconquest for Shudder sh Shudder. And just get some ticking war score going. Let's go. Let's party. Oh shit, I should have docked up my navy, huh? Eh, whatever. It's just one trade ship. I don't care. So you're going to head to Shudder Shudder. You're going to head to Kirkler Shudder. I can't pronounce these provinces. And here's my war, baby. Persia, Hungary, and Poland, and Lithuania against the Ottomans. <laughs> Have fun. I'm going to hightail it out of here. I don't want to fight those Ottoman armies. He has a tech behind us, though, which is great. He doesn't even he doesn't even have cannons yet. Like, how is he so far behind on tech? I don't understand. But that's fine with me. All right, here he comes. I've got my six shock general just chilling here. Oh, he doesn't want to fight? No, he just wants to chill. That's fine. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ignore you. Yep. Now, this war is probably going to be... The last war against the Ottomans for a little while. I'm expecting to go to war with Karaman soon, and I'm expecting to go to war with Serbia soon, and those will take some time. Uh, we may, I haven't claimed it, but we may take Sinop in this war. If we take Sinop in this war, or if not Sinop, then maybe Kanik for the estuary. If we take Kanik in this war, it will be purely so that we can fabricate on the Eastern Black Sea area. But I don't know. I'll, I'll consider it. It is an important province because it gives plus 10 trade power. It's an estuary. So on the Constantinople node, you can see Kanik is his most important province here. So taking that from him would be great. And I can definitely core it. I don't know. I'll consider Kanik. That was brought up by uh, a member from Twitch chat. But, you know, it's a great suggestion. You know, take the province that makes the money, which is Kanik. And I'm definitely going to let my allies do a lot of the heavy lifting here, because why should I waste my, my manpower if I don't have to, right? Ah, Persia's coming in as well. Persia has uh, a 3-2-4 general. Not bad. What's your tech, Persia? Tech 5. Our purse is a little behind on tech. That's okay. I won't hold it against him, you know? Hey, we had a baby and he's really good! Whew! Things are looking up here in Byzantium. Basilius Schnarf, the first. Choniates has had a son. And Twitch chat, I need you guys to come up with a name for our son here. It's only an average claim. So probably, you know, probably had a baby or a couple babies with uh, some of the staff at the palace. Don't tell his wife or anything. But I'm going to need a name here. Name him Hunting Accident? No, that would just be cruel. Bernie Sanders, Potato, Pogchamp. Name him Deus Volt, Schnarf II. 
Schnurf, Alexander, Julius Caesar, Potato, The Derpiest, Constantino, Average Joe, Alexander the Great, Jeffrey, Banana, Pussy Lord. There's a good name for, ev for everyone out there. Pussy Lord. We must kill this air. Kebab Remover. Sky Shadowing. <laughs> Constantino. Asperger. Oh no, Asperger. That was so funny. In the uh, in the Ulngan Wild campaign with Arumba. We had <laughs> we had an heir named Mr. Potato Head. I named him that. I figured why not? And his last name was Asperger. That was great. Batman. Skynet. Field of Burn. Gaylord. Adolf. Jacksaw. Darth Vader. Ideas Guy. Tarantino. Lord Schnafflepoof. Kebabsium. Kebaby. <laughs> General Akbar. Justinian. Skulljack? Oh no. Scum Lord. These names. Washington. We're not going for Washington. Pringles. <laughs> these names, they're so bad. They're so bad, these names. <laughs> Sovlaki, Richard Dawkins, Dude, Dude Bro Man, there we go, Dude Bro Man, Dude Bro Man, done, that's a great name, Dude Bro Man, who came up with that by the way, who said Dude, who said Dude, Darlin5, Darlin5, you got the right idea bro, Dude Bro Man, Dude Bro Man, that's the kind of Forward thinking we rely on here in chat. <laughs> All the fail fish is coming in. <laughs> Weed Lord Dank Memius. Weed Lord Dank Memius. That is not a bad name either, Thin Icy. Weed Lord Dank Memius. I hope Lithuania gives this this province to me. I don't think he will though, because Poland wants this land. Ah, oh, you jerk. Ah, oh, you seized it for Poland, you motherfucker. I knew that was gonna happen. I guess I'm not taking Bolu. <laughs> That's too bad. But that, I mean, you know, it saves me the hassle of having to decide what provinces to take, I guess. Persia's just going nuts over here. He's like, yay, war, woo! Oh, tech up time, really? Oh, we're still three years ahead, though. Uh, mm, I really don't want to tech up three years ahead. I think we'll just spend some more Diplo. We'll spend some more um, development. Let's see. Who gets development today? Anybody with low... What is it called? Low autonomy. Here you go. Here you go. Perfect. Siege away, boys. Siege away. I mean, this is... Look at his allies. They're so bad. Scotland has no air. Brandenburg has no air. Oh my god, Brandenburg. Brandenburg, no! It's like he's migrating to the east. He's lost all of his land in the west. All of it. He lost land to Bohemia. He lost land to Magdeburg. He lost land to Saxony. And he's going east! He's like, okay, I'll just go this way. It's fine. Donzig, oh my god, Donzig got alliances. Finally. After 40 years, he's like, you know what? I made me want to get an ally or some shit. That's right, Donzig. Alliances are good. Oh, right. I should flip this over to Bulgaria. Oops. Bulgaria. Here you go. 
Here you go. They are your cores. You get to keep the land, yes. You get to keep the land, yes. There you go. Hopefully after this war we'll have Turkish as an accepted culture. I think we will. Because what are we sitting at, like 14% right now? 13.8%. Uh, yeah, I think we'll probably be fine. Are you seriously attacking me? He's attacking me in the mountains. I don't even have a general. Who cares? No, nope, crushed him. <laughs> Why are you attacking me in the mountains? Why would you do that? <laughs> um, okay. That happened. Uh, Iraq wants peace. All right, so let's get some war reps. I'll take all your cash and war reps. And keep your alliance. I don't care. All right, good enough. Get out of here. Like, I'm not going to go to Tlemcen. Nobody's going to go over there. So that's going to be holding us back as far as war score. But eh, we should still be able to get pretty good war score, even even without Tlemcen being sieged, I think. Take Trebzend. Um, that would put us on the border with Georgia. Oh, here come the Mamluks. Here come the Mamluks. Okay. Now, if we can peace out in a timely fashion, then hopefully the Ottomans and the Mamluks will have a big old war, um, and I'll be able to get I'll be able to snipe Cyprus without the Mamluks helping. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but maybe. We'll give it a shot. I really need this fort to fall. I guess I should. Um, fund my navy and go over there, but... Oh yeah, there you go. The Mamluks are fighting the Ottoman navy. Perfect. Bourgeois request privileges, really? So either we lose Diplo or we lose Admin. I'd rather lose the Diplo, because we're working on an Admin idea group. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. So if we lose the Diplo, the burgers gain loyalty and the nobles lose loyalty. Oh my god, I don't need the nobles to lose more loyalty. Ah, Their loyalty is just so low. But I have Diplo to burn and I don't have admin to burn. Darn. Oh, wrong province. Wrong sea tile. All right, let's go help out. We have a Siege Pip General, and they do not. We also have cannons. All right, what do I want? I want you to give land to my vassal. All of this. I want to take my claims, which is this shit. That's 85 war score already. Um, that's probably enough land, really, unless I want Kanik, which is 97. Hmm. I think I'd rather go for the war wraps. Just the, just the increased money would be so good. Yeah, we gotta get this fort siege down. Once we get this fort, we're gonna have enough war score for peace. I think. Take the border between the Ottomans and the Mamluks? Yeah, well... That is not a bad idea, so we can walk to the Mamluks. That is not a bad idea. I will consider it. It's a lot of land, though. God, our diplomats are doing nothing. That's always terrifying. It's like, you know you're wasting your diplomats' time because they're not doing anything. I guess I'll keep one around for the peace deal. 
14%, 21%, no dice. Come on, you can do it. 42%. 23 days, okay. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it, 42%. Did we get it? We got it, all right. Okay, 94. Hmm. So you're saying screw Coachelli, take these. And if we take these, we can go to war with the Mamluks. Hmm, that's tempting. That is very tempting. But I think... Oh, it's tempting. It really is, but I'm not going to do it. Get rid of his get rid of his cores on my territory. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna get war reps. We're going to make him revoke a core. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, five provinces for our vassal. We should be able to annex him like right away. We're going to get one, two, three, four provinces for ourself. Uh, we'll be able to fabricate on everything down here, including all of this shit. Yeah, I think this is good. Take it and release Syria. Do I want a Syrian vassal over here? That is not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. All right, tell you what, that is a better idea than what I was doing. So we're not gonna take Coachelli, we're gonna take Antalya instead. Antakya. We're gonna release Syria instead. Yeah, that's a decent option. And we'll make him get rid of another core. Okay, done. Look at that beautiful peace deal. All right, Bulgaria, get in my belly. Well, I don't have Diplomat. All right, soon though. Let's go ahead and release Syria. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait until we've annexed our vassal, then we'll release Syria. All right, first things first, increase the autonomy here because the revolt risk is nuts. We're definitely gonna get a revolt this time. Do I, want, do I want the fort here? I might as well keep the fort for now, just temporarily. All right. Get in my belly. How long will this take? Oh my goodness, 23 years? Uh, why is it 23 years? He doesn't have that much development. Well, if I had a reputation guy, it'd be faster, but I don't. All right, I guess we'll just, hey, free stability. I guess we'll just release Syria. Hey, Turks driven from the Eastern Balkans. The forces of the Ottoman Empire have been driven out of the Eastern Balkans. At long last, Constantinople's European borders are secure. They sure are. Antioch reclaimed. Deus Volt. Lost to the Turks in 1084, Antioch has been called the cradle of Christianity. While it is no longer the metropolis it once was, it remains an important holy city. Gained 50 Diplo, and the name is changed to Antioch and gain 20 Pentiarch Authority. Oh, wow. I didn't really want the Pentiarch Authority. 
but okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. States demand territory. Well, oh, you guys are so greedy. All right, the salt, the salt can go to the nobles. Actually, go to the clergy. There you go, have the salt. Uh, and let's switch clergy provinces over to nobles. Wait, what? Decrease their loyalty to 60, okay. Yeah. Put the clergy over here. I want to convert these lands, and I think it's easier to convert them if they have clergy there. Uh, now the nobles need more land. All right, nobles. I don't know. Have this. Is that enough? There we go. All right. So what does this do? Fifty everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Shadow Kingdom. Okay, so the the northern Italian provinces have all left the empire. Check the empire map mode here. There you go. So everything except Nice and Coney have left the empire. And Lucca. Apparently, Lucca is a holy is a free city, so they can't leave because they're a free city. That's that's hilarious. Uh, Austria is the emperor. Okay. So now we can go to war with Genoa, and the emperor will not defend him. I wonder if we can threaten war and get Co. Maybe. Okay, looks good. Urbanization. Gain base tax in Huda Vendigar, and the burgers gain influence, or don't. Yeah, sure. I'll take base tax. Why not? It's one of the nice things about having the burgers in power of provinces. Yeah, Lesbos, Chios, and Samos. What are the other islands down here? I know that one's Lesbos. I guess this one's Chios. What are these two? I don't know. I'd have to look it up on a map. I know Limnos is over here. This is Limnos. That's Lesbos, I think. Georgia has declared war on the Ottomans. Oh, fun. Everyone wants a piece of the Ottomans now. Apparently we have low reputation right now. Oh, because our, um, our legitimacy is low. Gotcha. Reputation. We are at negative 0.57. Overextension. Oh, that's right. Overextension costs for reputation. I'm definitely not going to core this, so I might as well just release the vassal. But I'm going to wait until... I'm going to wait to release the vassal until they're about to rebel. Because I don't want them to rebel. That way we can save as many monarch points as possible. Lesbos is the northern one? Yeah. Lesbos, Chios, Ikaria, and Samos. Ikaria is on the left and Samos is on the right. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I know there's a lot of islands in the Aegean Sea. There's tons of islands in the Aegean. And they're not all represented in the game, obviously. And certainly they're not independent provinces. Like Macedonia here has this island, this island, this island. Uh, Adirn has a couple islands over here. Naxos. Look at all those islands that are considered Naxos. You know, it's just how it is. Genoa has unrivaled us, which means I probably unrival him as well automatically. Yeah, it looks like it's guaranteed to get unrivaled here. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, no. not didn't happen. I'm still rivaled. Okay. Hmm. And let's lower funding net for, for a little while here. Put the speed back up to speed four. 
convert Antioch? Um, it doesn't matter. He's going to be released as Sunni anyway. I can't convert him anyway. It doesn't matter. He's going to be released as Sunni no matter what I do. Is there an Inquisitor available? There is not. I wish there was so I could start converting some shit. But uh, the guys that are available are... A Philosopher and a Theologian. No Inquisitor. Man, Basilius Schnarf is doing really well for us. And his heir, Dudebroman. Even better. I can't wait for Dudebroman to take over. Ask the clergy for an Inquisitor? Oh, that's a good point. I wonder if it'd be a level 1. If it's a level 1, I'll take it. To level 2. Oh, but he has the cost of a level 1, right? Yeah, two, duck two ducats a month? That's so cheap. Alright, let's get converting. Thanks for the idea. I always forget that you can do that. I want to fabricate here on Karaman. Need a diplomat for that, though, so come on home. Convert him, release him, Vassal, interact with him. It doesn't work that way. Um, you, you can't... I can't release him as Orthodox. No matter what I do, he cannot be released as Orthodox because all of this land is Sunni. And the way the religion of the state is determined when you release them is based on the average, not the average, the highest, the highest amount of development in that area. That religion is the religion of the nation that you release. So if I release Syria, even if I convert this province to Orthodox, that's only one out of what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine provinces in the Syria area here that are all Syrian cores. And if I release that one province minor, even though the province is Orthodox, he will be Sunni, guaranteed, because all the other provinces are Sunni, except this one's Catholic. Um, and in the Vassal Interaction tab, you cannot convert them to a religion that is not um, a heresy. It has to be it has to be a heresy to convert them. So it has to be like a Catholic nation that you force convert to Orthodox or a Shia nation that you force convert to Sunni. You can't do Sunni to Orthodox. They just won't. It's not allowed. No, you can't convert them in the Facile Interactions tab. It doesn't work. No, you can't do that. It does not work for Sunni to Orthodox. You can do that now? Really? They changed it at 1.15? Are you sure? That sounds so bullshit. Why would they do that? You can force convert anything? Really? Really? Why would they do that? Oh, there goes Novgorod. Bye, Novgorod. So you're saying I can release him as Sunni and then convert him to Orthodox right away. That's amazeballs. That is amazeballs. Why would they change that? All right, cool. I believe you. Everyone's telling me I'm wrong. I believe you. 100% I believe you. And we'll definitely try it out. It just blows my mind. Like, why is that a thing? Hmm. A much bigger impact. Oh, it's 100% liberty desire? Ugh. I don't want 100% liberty desire. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. What is this? Serbia? Austria has declared war on Venice. Oh, fuck yes. Austria has declared war on Venice. Let me see this. Oh, beautiful day. I think this is an opportunity for us to go to war here. I think. Uh, let's see if I can demand this province. Just threaten war. No. Okay, but that he may change his mind with that. We'll see. A hundred percent liberty desire. That's pretty crazy, though. Did 
Diplomatic move. 30 Diplo points or improve relations with Venice. Fuck Venice. Give me those 30 Diplo points, baby. Declare war on Genoa. Um, allies with Ferrara and the Pope. I don't know, maybe. I don't really want to fight the Pope. I'll have to check out the Pope's strengths and Genoa's strengths. Uh, where is the Papal State? There he is. Pope's got 14k. What about Genoa? 14k as well. We can probably beat that. But we probably can't beat Genoa's navy. No, no, we'll take a look at it. Yeah, the Ottomans getting crushed right now. The Mamluks in Georgia have both declared separate wars on the Mo on the Ottomans. They're getting wrecked. It's pretty much the end of the Ottomans. Pretty much. Are you allied to Poland? No, you're allied to the Pope. And Bohemia. Interesting. We gain Conquest on Karaman. Good. One more. What I'm thinking is I can declare this war for Karaman, like, right now. There's nothing holding me back. I might as well. His only ally is the Mamluks, and I think the Mamluks are a little busy right now. The timer? All right, why don't we call this an episode then? Thank you for watching, guys. I have been Shen, you have been you. The Ottomans have been bested once again. Come back next time for the annexation of Bulgaria. They're at 9%. And the releasing of Syria as a vassal. Syria, who can be fed, I believe, eight more provinces. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, they're all Syrian cores. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.